Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I posted a video and I am back talking all about everything that you need to get shit done. So in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about my virtual event production stuff. And what I wanna talk about has been stressing me out for the last couple of weeks. And that's Zoom events. Um, not what you're thinking, right? So. We all know of Zoom events, AKA events that happen on Zoom. But what I wanna tell you guys about today is Zoom events, which is Zoom's brand new event platform. And the way I like to describe it is as if Eventbrite, Hopin, and Zoom got together and did a bunch of science or whatever and made a baby. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, the way the platform works, the functionalities of it, just set the setup of it, how it looks, how it interacts is very, very as if those three platforms kind of just got together and said, hey, what can we create together? So the parts of it that's more Eventbrite style is the registration, right? And how a person would set up an event as an event producer on the back end, you know, the fields that you have to fill out, people could ask custom questions. So this is a bit more robust than um, the registration feature when you do like a zoom meeting and actually let me pause for a second Let me take a step back. I get a little excited when it comes to the technology and all this stuff. So I'm gonna take a step back Zoom technically has like three products, right? They have more but the ones that we're gonna talk about are the three that most of us probably know There's zoom meetings, right? That's when you just go onto zoom you set up a meeting and when you're setting this up If you've never set one up before in the back end you have an option for a regular Zoom meeting to require registration. As an attendee, you might have seen this where you come to a Zoom meeting, you click on the link to go to the meeting, but before it brings you to the meeting, it brings you to a page that says register. And you often have to put in like your first and last name along with your email. You can see like a flyer up top, some text in the middle, maybe if it's a recurring series, some dates, right? We've seen that. So that's a feature on Zoom meetings, just a regular, regular Zoom meeting. And then we have Zoom webinars, right? So these um, are where you get into the session and everyone's not on camera. So in the Zoom meetings, everyone's on camera when you come in and you can mute people. So you're just seeing everyone and it's engaging, et cetera, et cetera. The Zoom webinar now, this feature has it where you kind of, you come in, only the speakers are the ones that are on camera and mic. Everyone is engaging in the chat. They could do Q and A's, polls and things of that. Um, you can't do breakout sessions in the Zoom webinar, but you can have a, people come in and it is really just a webinar, right? Asking questions, interacting in that way. And now, I don't know why they called it this because it's silly because everyone refers to Zoom meetings and Zoom webinars as Zoom events, but they've made Zoom events. And the reason why this is more robust is that prior to this, in order to host a multi-layered Zoom event, you have to do it manually. And what that means, and I should know because we are virtual event producers, is you'd have to set up multiple Zooms. And if you're Zoom meetings or Zoom webinars, you have to set up multiple. And what happens is that there might be a clash. If you have too many Zoom meetings starting up at the same time, you have to make sure you have co-hosts because once you're inside of a Zoom meeting, if your account logs into another meeting, you could get kicked out or the thing could break so on and so forth it gets messy real fast when you're trying to hold simultaneous sessions a workaround people would do is like have a zoom meeting then folks meet up in the main room and then they do breakout sessions a feature that you lose when you do that right you could have the concurrent sessions happening in the breakout but it becomes hard to record those sessions people want to use the content have it be engaging and and, and um long term right the longevity of the content that's one of the reasons why you would do this and so Zoom meetings was just not robust enough to handle that multi-session, simultaneous conference-like effect that we need when we're doing multi-part conferences. And so that's where Hop, Hop In, Remo, um, SL Events are like these more robust platforms for multiple moving parts during an event, right? So they created Zoom events to have a dual feature where you could set it up with a more Eventbrite-ish front end. So you get like the registration, Q&A, people have to sign up, make an account, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And when they come into the session, right, they it can be a Zoom meeting or a Zoom webinar. So you get the robust registration, but then when they come in, it's the same Zoom meeting, Zoom webinar that you're used to. The new feature now underneath Zoom events, so 
if you're following me and I know you probably are a little confused because I was very stressed and pressed and confused when I discovered this at first as well and it's taken me the last couple weeks to really take a look into it um to see what it would be best used for because I know a lot of our clients love 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 zoom they don't want to do anything anywhere else and more and more people want to use zoom because they're comfortable with it they know their audience is comfortable with it but for again those bigger needs it just wasn't robust enough and so you know let, let's get back into it so we talked about zoom meetings zoom webinars and now there's zoom events and there's two angles under zoom events the one i just talked about is zoom events like a single event where you could have the option to produce a zoom meeting i mean a zoom meeting or a webinar but with the robust registration offered by zoom events hope you guys are following i may include a diagram in this picture to help you all out now the second arm of zoom events is conference mode so this is where i get a little bit more happen esque in just the user interface of it where you could fill out all the speakers you could fill out all the sessions um the tracks so it is just a very robust step-by-step -step platform and you get like a landing page that populates afterwards where you know speakers sponsors sessions are segmented and it really looks like a full-blown conference and when you come into the session you get into this lobby where people are chatting at the side and then a person could click into the sessions once they click into the session that they would like to join, that session now becomes, again, a Zoom meeting or a Zoom webinar. So <laughs> I hope y'all are following. And, you know, at first I was just like, why? Why? Why do they create this if they have money to spend? Like, hello, invest in startups, <laughs> right? But after further analysis of the platform, I realize there are many use cases where this will be very critical and essential to the success of companies and their virtual event strategy as we go on. So with that, I want to say that I'm going to be producing a series of videos all about Zoom events, just explaining how it works. Um, you know, it's a new platform. I believe they launched it in October 2021. So a lot of people haven't um, discovered it yet. And when I say the words Zoom events, everyone's brain just goes to events on Zoom. It's like it translates in our head. And at first when I heard about it, I'm just like, yeah, we do Zoom events all the time. And it's like, no, no, no. Zoom meetings, Zoom webinars, and Zoom events, completely separate things. And I wanna help you all out there to learn how to best use Zoom events. And you know, come on board if you wanna have an agency that has learned the ins and, ins and outs of this tool to help you produce a high quality, multifaceted, amazing event on zoom so stay tuned coming up you're gonna see a lot of new videos all about zoom events and if you want to learn something specific about zoom events put it in the comments below i'm here i'm ready to take questions and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video bye